All right, still at Woodward. Still got like seven more videos to drop from Woodward. I don't know the exact amount, but there's, there's a lot of them. There's like a total of 18. We were there for seven days and we stacked footage. Uh, but this video, we're skating the mega ramp. Uh, <clears throat> and as someone who has skated the mega ramp that they have at Woodward East before, this, I, like I've done like tricks over the small side and then like I aired the medium side to landing on the first part of the knuckle before you go into the bank. Uh, I have like a rough idea of <clears throat> what it takes to skate something like that. I would never try to clear. The, I don't think I would clear the medium one uh, and definitely not the big one, but it's, it's big, but it's definitely an insane feeling even to do like the smaller one. It's definitely different than like, let's say your local ski jump. But I think it's sort of like a misunderstood thing. I remember when I first started seeing the mega ramp, I just assumed like, oh, if you're a transition skater, you got some control over that floaty feeling. You're just gonna go to the mega ramp and just be able to do whatever you want because you're gonna be in the air for so long and you're landing in what essentially seems like a sliding board. Nope, that's not the case. You get broke off on the mega ramp landing and the quarter pipe is absolutely dangerous. If you're unfamiliar, pro, pro skater Pat Duffy uh, aired the mega ramp gap. And when he got to the quarter pipe, he didn't jump off his board and launched up so high when he landed on the deck of the mega ramp, he broke both of his legs. And I don't need to make an edit of all the other crazy slams that have happened. Most of them taking place on the quarter pipe, but people have definitely gotten broken off on the landing ramp of the kicker ramp to the gap, the kicker over gap. <clears throat> so this is very much like a raw session. I feel like you don't see a lot of just full blown videos of just start to finish someone skating the mega ramp. I feel like it's a lot of like highlight reels. I think it'd be kind of cool to show like someone like kind of working up a little bit to the trick, even though just about everything Matthew does is first try. There's like a little bit of build up for some of the tricks, including him skating at Switch, which was just watching him ride down the roll and Switch was insane. If you've been there, it's, it's just so jacked. We'll talk about more of that later. Anyways, uh, we'll just get into the video. Here's some skating. All right, so this insanely big ramp, that's, that's the landing. It's like 12 foot sheets. I don't know how long that is. Stupid long, that quarter pipe is massive. I don't know how tall that is. Taller than me. 18? He says 18. Maybe not. Big. It's big. What's up, Matt? That's a Matt's first run. Some casual, some floaty. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. You just gotta get used to how mellow it is. Oh, now he's over here on the bigger one. I don't know if he's gonna do this one or just he's just looking at it. I don't know. How's it feel? I need to tighten my trucks a little bit. It's not bad. Okay, so my worry is I think if you like actually clear it, you have to be able to do an air on that. And there ain't no way that I'm doing an air on that. Uh-uh, that ain't me. No, 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 no. He's cranking his trucks down. He said his trucks are way too loose for this. I like what she's trying. She's like doing gap to manual. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Oh my God. See how high Matthew went going off of this one, which is a little bit bigger than this one. He's standing up top to go off of this one, which is like uh, like 10 feet longer, which means he's definitely gonna have to go higher on the quarter pipe. First try, my legs are shaking. Holy God. Yeah, I mean, you do that pretty casually. I have a feeling Matthew's gonna just try to spin. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Ooh, scary. I'm 
I'm scared of this. He got close. Yeah. Oh, he's going on three. Oh, oh. oh my god, there's speed bumps. Every time he goes, my heart falls to my stomach. It's so spooky. Just going down the bigger one. Oh my god. That was insane. Oh my god. I wish you were here to watch this in person. It's, you know, it's just massive. If you look at like the, the distance. Okay. Wow. So in 2012, I think it was, I actually skated that ramp. Um, it was the year that it was built. So whatever year that they put the Mini Mega in, it's the year that I skated it and I, aired the small one i did an indie grab and i remember i was in the air so long i did i would always do tuck knee but i remember like i tweaked the little backside and brought it back because you you're kind of in the air long enough to do stuff like that but it's still like floating on your feet it was absolutely horrifying uh and it took me i think the first time i actually cleared it there's a lot of like me landing deck check to get used to it uh, but I think the first time that I like cleared it and landed it, I started fully trying it. It took about like five tries. And then on the medium one, I, I aired it and landed on the knuckle and then jumped to my knees at the bottom. Like, terrifying. Matthew's someone who skated like Bob's mega ramp and stuff like that. Like he skated Woodward's West mega ramp, which was a giant mega ramp. He's no stranger to it. And just watching him get used to it. This is his first time skating anything like this in a while. You could tell there's like a learning curve and you know how good Matthew is at doing airs. You know, I'm not the one who wants to bring up a lot of injuries, but while we were there, there was a scooterer who was jumping this thing and he landed kind of on the knuckle and his legs kicked up from underneath him and he rode down the ramp holding onto the handlebars with his legs kind of sliding behind him and uh we thought he was fine because he just kind of got to the bottom and just like let go of his scooter he was like holding on and um he had to come get picked up in an ambulance he like it was i don't he got injured that's all i'm gonna say it sucked um it ended up not being super 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 bad like it wasn't like you know life changing or whatever but he, he got hurt and he was just airing the small side. You can also fall off the side of the mega ramp. Like to ride the mega ramp, you have to like, you have to really know what you're doing. And I'm definitely excited. Um, and this is, you know, sort of maybe a shot in the dark, but I do know that my friend Spencer uh, is like neighbors pretty much with Elliot Sloan. Like you can see his mega ramps in his backyard from Spencer's house. So I might uh, do a little knocking on his door and be like, hey, mind if we come skate? Cause I have a couple friends that I know could get down on it. And since I have aired the mini mega ramp at Woodward East, there's there, it seems like there's one that's, that's definitely way bigger than anything I've ever aired, but I might be able to get myself to air it. I don't know. They have like a ski ramp, that ski jump that he does like 720 flips and crap over. Probably not. I'm probably just blowing smoke, but uh, and maybe consider making a little goal for myself. I think it's within my capabilities. I've, I've done some pretty big ski jump type obstacles. Also, though, maybe not. Regardless, how sick would it be to bring matthew to a mega ramp complex where there's multiple things for him to start, sort of start to progress i would love to get my foot in that door and start dorking around with all of those guys i was also supposed to start doing stuff with the bucky uh we were gonna do a video on tony hawks for a ramp so when that comes up obviously i'll try to bring matthew because i love pushing more of the transition side of skating because you're not getting a lot of that when it's just like me and my friends skating but yeah just to put in perspective there's one bail in this video and it's slow-mo and it hasn't come up yet where matthew does you're gonna see something really sketchy happens and Matthew totally got out of it because he's a professional and really good skaters are really just professional fallers so they get enough tries so they finally land it um, and he gets out of this very iffy iffy position when you see these people skating the big stuff like the floaty ramps and they make it look so easy there's a lot going on that delay and like holding still and like staying calm while you're going as far as you're going because that's a big thing i remember when i skated the mega ramp i was expecting it to be a very long trampy feeling like a bike ski jump but in fact it's like you shoot forward really fast like it feels like you're going super far forward and not high at all like when you're when i remember when i was grabbing indy i remember feeling like i was only like two feet above the ground but i was probably like more like four and a half five feet which isn't that high but you're going so fast forward because of that rolling anyways enjoy more of matthew killing it he says he wants to do a really big air 
So. I don't know how high that was, but it was all the height. Oh, that's the one. Back three stale. Oh, just straight Ollie would be so jacked. What's kind of interesting is, you know, Matthew has a lot of roots in like vert and like skating mega ramps and stuff like that. Uh, but lately he's been skating a lot of bowls and Honestly, I do have some roots in like jumping down gaps and skating handrails. That's what I started off doing. That's how I first got sponsored was skating rails. Uh, but I kind of traded it for just doing this like alternative text thing. And Matthew's been skating a lot of like concrete pools. So it's like we're trying to get back to our roots here. And I think he just tried to backflip. With the Andy Anderson board, that football straight, man. You put that on, you just get the mini mega of it on. Was that your first time doing that? Huh? Was that your first time jumping this one? Heck yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So something that I never knew, the deck of the Mega Quarter Pipe is made of this sort of, I mean, it's not soft, it's kind of rubbery though. Uh, material, I guess. So when you fall on it, you don't die as hard maybe, or I don't know, what's kind of weird though is you think you would want the coping to stick up a good bit. But it's actually like the exact opposite. It's actually the coping tip's a little under the top layer. So uh, it's probably why you don't see too many grinds on this. No, he did not. I like barely pulled my phone out in time. I barely caught that Matthew. You psychopath. To get as high as he wants to go, he has to go over the big jump. Definitely nervous. That looks crazy. It's like Peter Pan up there. Wait, he's rolling in switch? I'm not even up there. Oh my God. Let me get in position, Matt. I just can't imagine going down this roll in and jumping to try to clear all the way. Yes. Yeah, rolling in on this thing switch seems terrifying. Yeah, uh, like that edge is right there. Like imagine rolling in switch and getting speed wobbles. Like that's like a 14 foot drop. Good. Try to do a fake at 540. Oh my God. So I don't know if you remember, but uh, last year, many videos ago, I was at Woodward West with Matthew and he learned how to fake 540 this ramp onto a resi that the gap is probably like seven feet smaller, but it was still like, you know, a big kicker into a bank. Uh, so this would be really taking to the next level. I think it's kind of funny that he like he figured it out at Woodward West and now Woodward East. We're gonna try it on the Mega. Not feeling the five? I think I could probably get it. I just don't wanna like not do it. While like, I don't know, it's starting to get dark, I feel like. Well, we can, we can skate it again on Sunday. Okay. Cause I'm gonna try to play with it. You, he's gonna try to just jump the Mega switch. And then he's thinking if he lands it, then he has to hit the big quarter pipe switch.
Oh my god. He almost just fakey melon grabbed the maker. Oh, oh. He's trying to tweak it halfway like melon shifty and then bring it all the way back. Insane. Backflip. That shows you just how fast you were landing when you go in that. Like, just this board looping out. 18 foot quarter pipe. So I will say right now, and I think there's some clips of the video of me talking about skating it. I did want to skate the mega ramp while we were there. Uh, but Matthew ended up getting, you'll say, things happened on the trip. Uh, I didn't actually end up getting to skate the mini mega ramp on this trip. Uh, when I go back next time, though, I'm, I'll definitely skate the small side. Maybe, 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 maybe be able to talk myself uh, into airing the medium side. But if I do that, I'm going to have to drop to my knees right when I get to the bottom if I actually clear it. Because you're going so fast, you have no choice but to air. If you watch the footage of the one kid ride, riding the Andy board, when he clears it, he anti-pumps the whole way down the bank and up the quarter pipe and still does like a five foot backside lean air. So, and you could tell that he was like scared of how far it was pushing him up. Like as he was holding one and he landed, it was super crazy. Um, but yeah, that ain't, if, if I get to that coping, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. in fact, I just randomly remembered, uh, the one time that I aired the small one and I actually cleared it into the bank, I tried to carve super wide front side and I accidentally scratched the coping. I went little, one, uh, what they were saying is an 18 foot quarter pipe. Terrifying, terrifying. But I hope you guys are enjoying watching Matt skate a little bit more street, me skate a little bit more transition. Um, the rest of the videos, the best videos haven't come out yet, in my opinion. But yeah, just a quick little verbal shout out to Woodward for uh, having us out. Super fun. Um, I'm sure you know that they have a YouTube channel too, and they post about all the new updates and upgrades of their skate parks. They have some new parks coming, actually. They're not done building new parks, believe it or not. Uh, Woodward East, I was just told about the design, and I was told that I can't talk about it. Uh, so I'm not going to, but it is, I'm a thousand percent going back next year just to skate this one park. It is my kind of park. That's all I'm saying. It looks so sick. Appreciate all the uh, birthday wishes and kind words while I've been sick, uh, trying to keep pushing along these videos. I know I missed a day and I did that live chat. If you guys want me to do more live stuff though, I think I might start doing live videos on my second channel. Uh, I have a video coming out on my second channel today, actually, uh, around six o'clock. Um, Suggs Wang Core, I'll link in the description. Something that I thought was pretty sick. It's not skateboarding, but uh, I was excited about it. Whole lot of Missy in it. I know I get comments asking about what she's been up to. Um, yeah.